This is not gonna end well. Hey, what's up? I recently switched to these thick fat pads that npcstuff.com sell and some of you guys have been asking me how I find them. So here we go. What I ordered online were the replacements for both the pads and the MFX, which are sold separately. Together, these cost 78 bucks US. Installing them as intimidating as it felt wasn't too hard. Just make sure you have the correct screwdriver size and you're all good. They seem to fit the chassis perfectly and I think these black ones look dope on the 404A faceplate. The question I've been asked the most is how clicky and clunky they are compared to the stock pads. Well, definitely less. We're probably never going to get something with that Akai feel, but this is certainly a step in the right direction. I mic'd up the pads for this comparison. Alright, so I've been rocking these for about 3 months now and have stuck on a new skin. For my finger drumming style, these are actually wicked. These bad boys are softer and taller than the stock pads, which is a little strange at first, but they grew on me really quick. There's a lot less impact and it's much easier on my finger joints. Also, I dig the feel of whatever it is these are coated in. There's a lot less friction. I definitely find these more responsive and faster. I don't think I was able to ramp up like this before. So lastly, would I buy them again? I think I would. A bunch of people have told me that this black coating is going to rub off eventually, but then they all do. We will be able to track the pad wear and tear as I keep on releasing videos. The only thing I'd do differently is I'd probably order a couple of sets of these when I'm next in the US, cause between the shipping cost and the import tax here in Germany, that cost me about a quarter of an international return flight. Righto, that's about all there is to that. Get at me below if you have any cues about the pads. Laters.